question. Welcome to our next topic lesson. So, have a think. What key facts can you remember about spring? Think about them. <gasps> Shout them out to me. Oh, amazing. Well done. You remembered so many. Let's have a look at the ones that I taught you. I'll read them out to you again. So, spring begins in March and ends in June. Blossom starts to grow on trees. New flowers start to grow. Animals who hibernate start to wake up. Birds fly back. And baby animals are born. Well done if you got some of those. Today you are going to create a spring picture. But first, let's practice our key words. So, pencils ready? My turn. Spring. Blossom. Flowers. Animals. March. April. May. June. Well done, everyone. Now, I am going to read you a poem and I want you to start to build a picture in your mind as I read it to you. So, close your eyes, make sure there are no distractions around you and listen carefully to what I say. Close your eyes for me. Spring is here, spring is here. Leaves and buds everywhere. Caterpillars crawl along. The birds sing a cheery song. The smell of grass in the air. Children playing without a care. Bees flying from flower to flower. A rainbow appears during the fresh shower. The coldness of winter disappears. The warmth of spring reappears. Goodbye to the dark and hello to the sun. Spring is a time to play and have fun. Now open your eyes and think about the words that I just read to you. What did you picture while I was reading that poem to you? Think about it. Now tell me what you pictured. Wow, that is amazing everyone. Well done. Today, you are going to draw a picture of what was in your mind as I read that poem to you. So I've already done this today and I've drawn my picture of what I thought of when I was reading that poem. So in the poem I've gone through, so I'll read it again and show you what I put on. So, spring is here, spring is here, leaves and buds everywhere. I've got my buds that are growing from the ground ready for their flowers. Caterpillars crawl along. The birds sing a cheery song. My birds are flying in the sky singing. The smell of grass in the air. Children playing without a care. I've got two children there playing in the grass together. Bees flying from flower to flower, my bees down at the bottom, flying around the flowers, collecting all the nectar for their honey. A rainbow appears during the fresh shower, I've got my big rainbow. The coldness of winter disappears, the warmth of spring reappears. Goodbye to the dark and hello to the sun, I've got my sun on there. Spring is a time to play and have fun. So I've drawn my picture and I've thought really carefully about what I can hear and then drawn that down. I would love for you to be able to do that now. Now you've got the poem in your workbook or you can go back in our video and keep listening to me reading it and really think about what you can hear and what you picture when you're reading the poem. I would like you to draw a picture of what you hear. It's really tricky to think about, 
but just close your eyes, listen to the words, and then draw the picture of what you can see when you read this poem. Have fun and I cannot wait to see your pictures on Seesaw. Have fun and good luck everyone. Now it's time to play a game. Go around your home and choose a few random objects. Up to 10 is enough. Put them out on a tray or a plate or just on the floor. And then person number one, take a really careful look at all of the items. Then turn around and look away. Player two, remove one of the items and hide it behind your back. Player one can then turn back around and see what is missing. If they guess it right, you can swap over. If not, try again. Have fun, everyone.